everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to watch Dr. Stone Season 2 Episode 3 to see how accurate all the science and technology in this anime really are. The last thing I said in my previous Dr. Stone video was not questioning how they actually knew the microphone or phone was actually in the ground and amazingly enough this anime actually answered that question in the next episode so nice job writers. <laughs> ともかく端っこ直結すりゃ熱戦状態でやべえほど熱くなる。ジンタラキーコスって火を起こしてたら音と煙で場所がバレバレだけどよ。科学なら一瞬で。やべえ。やべえ。That is a really stupid idea. <laughs> I mean, so the well, uh, one other thing is that the, this. Anime also answered that question from my, my other question from the previous episode was like how would they go about the extra batteries and they clearly have them but before we talk about that just the the batteries will light up and smoke like that do not mess with batteries like bad bad idea now this is especially worse because not only did the battery explode but you don't want to run into the smoke because not only do you want to avoid the explosion but you also don't want to breathe in those fumes because those are really toxic this is a lithium polymer battery and for whatever reason i do not endorse this do not do this but this person decided to stab the battery with a knife exposing it to nitrogen oxygen and the and atmosphere around us and that'll set off a chemical reaction for this particular battery and you see the result it exploded in flames and smoke I got this video from Reddit and the top comment was a guy talking about how he inhaled the fumes from his battery one time like when he was fixing his phone and it just exploded and it was by accident he actually inhaled some and he got a bloody nose he had migraines and he lost a sense of smell for like 24 hours and that is fortunate that nothing worse happened because if, if you run head first like that into that like just smoke screen goodness like you're not gonna come out the same man like you're gonna be sick for a while and you gotta really get medical attention now the shape of that battery is questionable because it's shaped like a cylinder whereas their cell phone is just like a rectangular object which it, like you don't want to have a cylindrical battery in a rectangular box because that thing could you know slide around and like since they're moving with, with it like a backpack like you don't want the battery to be like shifted and the wires move out of place and th that's just not a not a good design in your car, for example, the car batteries are all rectangular shaped, and the reason for that is so they can fit perfectly where they need to in the car. Imagine if that car battery was cylindrical like this, or if it was circular, you know, whatever shape you want it to be. If it was anything other than the rectangular shape it is, as your car is driving, that battery could just shift back and forth, and it can shake and vibrate, and a lot more interference can happen with it. Like, batteries can be shaped to whatever you want them to. Like you just need an anode, a cathode, and some sort of like a filtering fluid or some filter in between the two of them. And you can make them any shape you want. Like we just saw for the sake of this um, video, like there is a cylindrical battery here. Your car battery is rectangular, but that's because it's in a rectangular environment. But the batteries in um, like your, some people's watches, for example, those batteries are just little like circles, right? And they're really, really thin and they're tiny. And uh, the batteries in this camera, for example, are rectangular, but that can be any shape you want it to be. Now, for the purposes that they have shown here, I don't think it's a good idea to shape the battery like a cylinder. You definitely want it to match the container which is going to be put in. Like, your phone battery is shaped the way it is because of the space it has to occupy. So for this shape, it's not the best to occupy the space of the rectangular phone. But... もし誰かがリリアンワインバーグを語ってんなら絶対に許さない。うん、バイヤーだね。ガチなやつだこれ。ガチファン来ちゃったわいきなり。No matter who you are, it doesn't matter if you're a super fan or not. 
Like there is always going to be someone else out there who knows something about your idol that you don't. And that's, that seems really hard to believe, but like imagine, okay, here's a, I don't know where this came from, but like my, one of my sister's friends told me that Taylor Swift grew up on a Christmas tree farm. Like, how do you know that? Right? I'm like, wait, do, is there nothing else that you have to do in life that you just know where your celebrities grew up and on which farm? Like, I didn't even know that they farm Christmas trees, but I guess they do, and uh, one of these artists grew up on one. So, no. <laughs> There's, I, there's no, no, nope, I do not believe that. How did, like, how, how does he know the prices of the royalty deals and the, the, no, no. That was really smart of Senku to give a range because even the person who's asking them, I highly doubt they even know. Like, if you're the real artist, you can just say something like, yeah, that's how many records were reported, but these many more were sold this last time you checked. I don't know. Like, that's something you can easily, like, BS. But to, to calculate that far back, I mean, I don't, I highly doubt that was even gonna be possible. I cannot believe that worked. Like, if that didn't work just now, can you imagine how much trouble they would have been in? Like, this would have been really bad, but how did that work? All right, well, okay, I guess I didn't think about it like this, but imagine that you had just haven't heard any music from any artist that you've heard of in a long time. You wake up in a place where there's no technology, and then out of nowhere, you hear Taylor Swift's voice blasting out of a hole in the ground, and you can also talk to other people through that same hole in the ground. Okay, yeah, if that happened to me, I'd probably believe anything too. That is how Senku got Gen to get on their side, right? Like, uh, he wanted Senku Cola, or I guess he wanted Coca-Cola, then Senku made him Senku Cola, which was close enough to the real thing, but that was like a drink he hadn't had in long, long time, and it was like, whatever you can provide from the modern world or the age of which you are from to the person of where they are now, that seems to carry a whole lot of value, and this might work. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it, it might work. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you want to see more Dr. Stone, it is on the way. If there's any other movie, TV show, or anime you want me to check out, put that in the comments and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay fresh and stay golden.